on having them in there because doesn't that just look so cool? That looks like it's where they belong. I think if I... I could keep most of them in there. It's just this one and this one. Probably this one too. Hmm. I could keep the littlest two in here. But the big boys will have to stay elsewhere. I spent a teeny bit of time doing this motion, rolling the spheres against one another. I was so disappointed in myself while editing that I didn't do it uh, so much more. I just think that it's such a pleasant noise. it as a gentle clatter, gently clattering against one another. It reminds me of um, my grandpa uh, was a woodworker and um, he made all kinds of really cool different furniture pieces, art pieces, and toys. Um, when uh, my sister and I were kids, he handmade us a bunch of wooden blocks that we played with. My favorite of his creations, though, was this marble machine, I called it. And it was just like this wooden track for marbles that was maybe five feet tall. And you feed in some marbles at the top, and they clatter against each other on the way down winding down uh, twists and turns and slides and little um, bits and bobs that the weight of the marbles moves things and makes them fall into place. There is a part where they clatter over a xylophone. I don't know, some little colorful keys that uh, twinkled as they rolled over. But the sound of the marbles rolling down over the wood that was like this. So I think it's it's objectively a nice noise and then it's also uh, brings brings me happy memories, reminds me of playing as a kid. So I hope you like it too. Like it too. Okay, let's move on to 
to the bigger ones. going every which way Sorry about the kitty noises He's really jealous, he knows that I've got lots of interesting items in here that he would love to play with recently called the Oddities and Curiosities Expo. I went uh, to the one in LA a few years ago. Um, and it's always a really fun time, very interesting vendors. Uh, and I loved people watching at the event because uh, pretty much everybody in attendance was goth and like, you know, full on, like wearing head to toe, like uh, really interesting gothic fits, so that was fun. So one of the things I picked up there was from a booth filled with antiques, and this was sealed up in plastic so I couldn't open it, and from the cover I had assumed, since it says your dream book. Looks like there's this guardian angel. She's bringing dreams to this sleeping woman. I thought maybe this would have some handwritten notes, some somebody in there. 1930s recollecting their dreams. No, it's an ad. 
the whole thing is a uh, like the pharmaceutical selling it for pharmaceuticals. Uh, so it looks like the very first page is interpreting some different dreams, and then the rest is all oh dear, my back. Women who suffer from dizzy spells. Uh, thin and weak. Um, it's just all these different cases of people that this doctor, Dr. Pierce, um, helped medicate, helped them with their ailments. So, this dream book, the first page will tell you about your dreams and the rest will convince you that you need to go seek, seek the counsel of Dr. Pierce for your various ailments. So, let's see what some dreams mean. A bear. To dream that you have seen a bear means that you have a rich, cruel, and audacious enemy. If it is running, happiness is in store for you. Um, blossoms. If you see flowers or trees in bloom, it's a sign of success and happiness. For a maiden to dream, she gets a new bonnet, promises a new lover. That's cute. Uh, to dream of a brother means an early marriage in your family. If in love, it's a favorable omen. Bees signify wealth and success in business. Seeing bees leave their honey is a sign of honor and fortune. Climbing success in life. To climb a steep hill foretells difficulties in life, also sickness. Mm. To dream of a dog means your friends are faithful. If he runs behind you, somebody is slandering you. If he fights with another dog, fear persecutions. If with the cat, you will quarrel. Flying denotes that you will leave your native land and, after hardship, return to it rich and happy. Garden, to walk in one means joy. Your fortune will be increased. Well, I'm pleased with this anyway. I think this is a fun, fun little purchase. Uh, I also got an eclectic series, Key to Raise New Arithmetics. I don't have interest in the arithmetics inside, but I really like this cover. The swirling designs, some fruits, there's like a cornucopia on each side, and especially this little picture of a viking boat out on the ocean with stars in the night sky. Got a red um, binding, it's patterned as well. Standard textbooks. Let's learn just a smidge. Promiscuous examples. Practical arithmetic. Promiscuous examples. I'm so curious what promiscuous means in the context of math. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Okay. One horse eats as much as one and a half cows and 14 horses eat as much as 21 cows. 15 cows plus 21 cows equals 36 cows. A pays 21 over 36 equals 7 over 12 of 60 equals 35. B pays 15 over 36 equals 5 over 12 of 60 dollars equals 25. Is that a question? <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to say they lost me, but they never had me. This is pretty handwriting in the inner cover. Bessie Cooper. Mm. Hull, hull work. Isn't that pretty script? I wish my handwriting looked like that. Way to go, Bessie. I hope that this textbook didn't give her too much trouble. Grasp it, grasp it, grasp it, grasp it, grasp it. Okay. 
then what do we have? I've got some yarn. I always love the sound of a nice yarn wrapper. This is Lion Brand Yarns. And this maybe collection is called Mandala. Net weight 5.3 ounces. Machine washable and dryable. That's nice. Note balls of yarn from the same dye lot may differ due to the unique effect within each color. This is the charm of the yarn. What a quote. This is the charm of the yarn. Wow. I love that as a phrase to mean like, I don't know, something I think about a lot and really enjoy about people is that uh, there's two sides to every coin. Every negative quality that a person has, there's a flip side of that fact about them also is what allows them to have a positive quality. Um, so, let me think of an example. Like, maybe somebody who's really easygoing. That's, it's so enjoyable to be friends with somebody who's really easygoing and if you ever make a mistake, they are very understanding and forgiving. Uh, but then also somebody who's really easygoing, um, not a very anxious person, might be late a lot or, um, I don't know, I can't think of any other examples besides being late, but, you know, and then on the other side of that, it can be stressful to be friends maybe with somebody who's very uptight, but then the flip side of that uptightness is reliability. You know, you can really trust them to show up on time and get things done. And so neither of those people are better or worse than the other. Um, both of those people are uh, wonderful and you could have a lovely friendship with them. Um, and it's just a, a fact of people's personalities. It's just how personalities work. Um, and I try to remember that whenever I get to too down on myself about something that I consider to be a negative quality about myself. You know, obviously you can still improve on and work on things that you don't like about yourself, but it's also important to understand and accept that those things are what make you you and allow you to have the positive qualities that you do have. So anyways, I'd like to use this is the charm of the yarn to give me that concept. So, we've got this nice pale buttery yellow at the heart of it, fading into a creamsicle orange, a rosy pink, a soft relaxing purple, rich blue, kind of a minty teal, it's so pretty. And I didn't do this cut in the wrapper, I think that maybe at the store when they opened up the box filled with these with the box cutter, it got shoop, sliced, sliced of it. Just imagine a scarf with this gradient of colors. Or a hat, or a sweater, some mittens, or socks. Whatever you like. This is the charm of the yarn. Oh my gosh, I showed you guys this collection of teas I got in London in a video, but I hadn't opened it yet, so I didn't know that they put cute moomin patterns on each of the teas. So, as soon as I saw that, I've been wanting to drink these teas, but I've kept myself from it because I wanted to show you them, the wrappers first. In cold or rainy weather, you should enjoy a hot cup of tea to keep you warm. So true. That is such sage advice. And there's all of our friends. Okay, so first tea is bergamot orange. It's called It's Playtime. We've got a Moomin headstand either on a rug, so soft surface to land on, or a puddle, so high stakes, very daring. It's like the opposite of a safety net, a danger net, 
make sure you succeed. Then we have, I'm so sorry, let me give you a close up. This is too important for you to potentially not get a good look. Bergamot orange, French vanilla and red berries, rosy dreams. You've got a bedtime moment in the meadow amongst the flowers. Bedtime moment in the meadow amongst the flowers. Vanilla and pear, magic storm. Magic Storm is a cool name, and Vanilla and Pear sounds very yummy. Here's your top hat. Oh, the little guys. This one doesn't seem to have a specific uh, flavor on it. Oh, oh, on the back it says it's black tea with blueberry muffin flavor. How lovely. Winter moment looking a bit dismayed. That's gonna be me in a few weeks. I'm going skiing for the first time and I'm terrified. I'm so scared I don't want to go. But I got invited and I was like, this might be my one chance. I can't see myself ever going and doing this of my own accord. So here we go. <laughs> I just, I don't have good balance and I hate falling down. I know no one likes falling down, but I can never enjoy ice skating because the whole time I'm just terrified of when I'm gonna fall and how bad it's gonna hurt. But that's no way to live, right? So I'm gonna try it. Let me know if you've got any skiing tips. This one is Truffle and Chocolate, Wonders of the World. How dignified. Of course they put the dignified moment on the truffle. Cute. Oh, I don't know if I can ever drink them. They're just so sweet. Uh, speaking of so sweet, I've got a machichi here. This is a little monkey toy, and he's dressed to go out in the rain. He's got his ladybug raincoat on. Nice and warm and dry in there. I wish he had little rain boots. Very cute. I could make him some. Then on the back, what do you think of all the different outfits? The astronaut one is sweet. Little cherry blossom baby. The heart sweater. That would be a good Valentine's Day gift. Yellow raincoat's cute. The mama, their baby. The striped bib. The classic girl and boy. It's for ages two and up. was I gonna do? Not give you a pika, Mr. Monchichi? Yeah, right. The last item I have to show you is this piece of foam packaging that came with a new cosmetic mirror I purchased today. Because my old one was like 10 years old. It's time to, time to upgrade.
is going to do it for tonight's little show and tell, show and tell, show and tell. Thank you so much for exploring.